Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of February the 27th, 2017. Now to get started this week, we're going to begin where we always do with the US dollar index. Very important in both equity trading, futures trading, and of course Forex trading. So to begin here, we want to look at where we sit with our key supply and demand levels. We can see that we've got a very, very, t not very tight, but a fairly tight wedge formation here sitting just in and around the vantage point key level the 100.83 we can see that we've closed uh, just barely above here at 101.90 101.09 excuse me now our indicators are saying we're basically moving sideways with a slight downward bias actually on the dollar we're unable to see any kind of momentum here from the predicted RSI but our predicted MACD is suggesting we could be getting to move get getting ready to move higher now next week will be a busy week we've got Trump uh, addressing Congress for the very first time so it should be interesting to see how the market takes this but right now uh, the dollar has been predominantly moving with the S&P 500 that is the critical inner market correlation we want to understand that as the global equity markets move higher the dollar index move moves higher that's what's been happening so uh, when we look at closer at this very concerning here whether the dollar can retake this but in order for the dollar to regain any kind of strength going forward we need to break above this upper trend line here which now comes in at 101 approximately the 10175 area so while we're below this area guys there's guys there's a slight downward bias on the dollar now, when we look at the euro, we can see a very similar situation here. The euro, we're trying to break through this critical trend line we can see here, but we're also trying to break through that critical vantage point 18-day predicted moving average, which is now coming in at 106.14. Now, again, if we can break through this key level and push through this trend, upper trend line, this supply area, then the euro will go higher. Now, in order for that to happen, we need the global equity markets particularly the DAX 30 going lower. That's the inner market correlation. We need gold moving higher. Gold moves higher, the euro moves higher. That's that's the likely outcome. Now, the indicators here, not looking that great actually for the euro. The predicted MACD breaking below the zero line. The predicted RSI breaking below the 40. So this trend line continues to hold as does the critical vantage point 18 day predicted moving average. However, if we break through that area, then you want to get those, you want to cut those shorts very, very quickly so to sum it up we can sell into the 10614 area and be prepared guys to cut and go long now with US Swiss franc we can see US Swiss franc continues to hold on our lower trend line this area now coming in at or about the uh, parity level here the critical level from vantage point however the 18 day is 1.0033 with a bullish close actually of 1.0071 now this lower trend line is very important here guys you can see we're forming a fairly tight wedge formation here a break on either side of this a break on the other side of uh, 10140 will see us go higher but a break to the downside of parity level will see us go lower our indicators from vantage point are basically sideways to, to moderately bullish and I, I'm going to use the word moderately because they are not overly bullish we've got our neural index down our predicted differences pointing down our predicted MACD pointing higher, predicted RSI basically sideways. So there isn't a clean signal here yet, but we do have a busy docket next week. We've got GDP. I think we've got the ISM manufacturing and non-manufacturing. So we're going to see uh, some movement in the markets next next week, which will help determine whether or not there's going to be uh, a potential rate hike come Jan or come excuse me March. Now, as we move into the pound dollar this week, uh, a pretty identifiable area here, guys. 124, this lower trend line, it's held for the last couple of weeks with my own direct clients. We've been buying heavily off this area, but we're if this area breaks, we want to make sure we cut this trade uh, very quickly. Uh, now, again, our indicators from vantage point are mixed. Uh, we've had a slow couple of weeks in the Forex market, some good daily moves, but basically uh, we're just kind of moving sideways ways right across the board and this is uh, this is normal for for February but a trending move is going to happen here very soon now in order for the British pound US dollar to trend to the downside 
we not only have to take out this critical trend line at 124, we also want to take out 123, which could potentially open up the door back to the 119 area. My optimism on that remains heavily guarded at this particular time. Now, again, we want to watch this area very closely along with that critical vantage point 18 day predicted EMA coming in at 124.74. So right now, selling into that area has worked. But again, the indicators from Vantage Point are warning that we could be getting ready to move lower. So if we can break below 124, close below 124, that is probably going to open the door back up into that 123 area and potentially even lower. Now, as we come into the dollar yen, we have a very, very tight wedge coming in here on our supply and demand areas. A lot of activity right here. We have a fresh triple EMA cross from vantage point taking place here around 113.20. Now, despite these equity markets roaring higher, the dollar yen is going lower. This is not common. If the equity markets are moving higher, dollar yen is moving higher. So this could be the needle in the haystack that you equity traders could be, uh, should be mindful of that the yen continues to strengthen. When we have a strong yen, we don't necessarily, for the 80% of the time, we have weak equities. So right now, our indicators are saying we are going lower on the dollar yen. Predicted MACD down, predicted RSI, all of these indicators. So to start the week, 113.20, as long as we hold below that, we are probably getting ready to go lower. Now, a break of this very tight wedge formation, uh, this is probably one of the easier trades you'll have during um, during normal trading, guys. When this wedge breaks, the sellers basically take control of the market. So right now, the sellers are in control, but we have a very heavy docket again next week with U.S. Uh, uh, data. Again, GDP, ISM, there's a number of different announcements next week. Now, as we move into our main commodity currencies here, starting with the U.S. CAD, very well-defined areas here, uh, guys. We've got 130 on the downside, and we've got 132 on the upside. So right now, we've got another triple EMA cross from Vantage Point. You can see that we almost had one here, but now we've got another one right there. So the 18-day predicted moving average, 113.71. This was a fantastic long trade uh, this week here on Trader Planet, uh, going all shooting all the way up from this level to the 132 but hitting the upper forming an upper trend line here stopping any rally to the upside this would point that we probably have further downside the inner market correlation you guys want to keep a very very close eye on here is oil prices oil prices are trying to desperately trying to turn bullish here and if they do we get a sustained break of 55 50 56 dollars a barrel on oil us canada will blow through 130 like nothing so be mindful of this that this is what's going on our indicators are a little bit mixed we're not in a trending move here we're still moving sideways between 132 and the 132 area or the 130 area excuse me so for now we buy the bottom and we sell the top now, coming into Australia, U.S. now, uh, once again, we've got a, a heavy, heavy support here, a resistance, excuse me, at the 77.50 mark. This goes back here to our swing high back into uh, the beginning of November. So if we follow this all the way down here, guys, you can see that we're back up exactly where we were. So we had a massive sell-off from here uh, back in November. And right now, basically to sum it up here, guys, Aussie US has to get moving here. If it can't break through this area, break free and clear of the 78 level, we are going lower. Now, the intermarket correlation, of course, is gold. As long as gold is moving higher, Aussie US is moving higher. So if Aussie starts to fail, then more than likely we're going to see gold contracts fail. So if we're trading Aussie, we want to watch that very closely. Uh, in my respectful opinion, it, Longs carry a slight edge here while above 76.45. Actually, I'll go as far as to say, excuse me, the 76 level. In my respectful opinion, we're simply playing a range right now between this potential false break here at 77.30 and this critical vantage point level here at 76.45. Now, what I what, what I would like to point out here, just going to zoom in on this here for the two-month time frame so everybody can see this, is that essentially we're following right along this key vantage point eight-day predicted moving average. So when I slide this across here, we can see that we have a very uh, we have tested this eight-day predicted moving average 
too many times for me to even count here, guys. It must be 20, 30 times. So this is not by any stretch of the imagination a coincidence. So if we break and close below the 8-day and the 18-day, that would tell me we're going into a substantial trend reversal. So right now, the levels I want you guys to watch this week, 76.45 and right now 76.74. If we have a close below 76.44, we absolutely have a problem on this uh, long trade and we will be going lower. The same thing here, guys, for next week is going to apply to New Zealand. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. This is following up the Aussie US trade. So essentially, we're sitting sideways right on or about that key vantage point level 7207 that's the level to watch you can see that we've closed below that at 7196 now <clears throat> excuse me the indicators here from vantage point again very mixed our neural index is higher predicted short medium and long term differences pointing higher predicted macd still above the zero line so if we're going to bounce it's going to be right here right around 7140 that's the area that i want you guys to watch uh, buying this lower trend line here is reasonable. The indicators from vantage point are mildly bullish. So we could have a very good trade right off the open here on Sunday uh, on this particular pair. But again, we are in for somewhat of a choppy week. <laughs>